There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Divas, what's up, Divas? What's up, Divas? What's up, you guys? What's up? Happy to be back. I hope y'all all are having like a really great day. Girl, listen, this is about to be an easy wig, okay? This is a synthetic wig, girl. It's flowy. It got a lot of parting space. You can get it from Sam's Beauty. I mean, I'm just saying, these are all the perks right here. The number one thing is, though, it's affordable, okay? So, hope y'all are having like a really great day, a blessed day, an amazing day. You know, when you're watching this video, it's your girl A. We came to slay. At least we gonna try. Okay, y'all. Okay, so first of all, this wig is looking really promising. I've never heard of the brand before. Maydi, I think it's pronounced Madi, Madi Beauty. Like I really be wanting to pronounce every single letter in the word, okay? So I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I want to say it's pronounced Madi. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think of it. But it's by a brand called Madi Beauty. And this is an extra deep lace frontal, a lace front wig, synthetic, okay? So I had this for a minute. I'm um, not too long, probably like a couple of weeks. That's a minute. Enough for it to um, like catch dust. But I did get it at Sam's Beauty. And it's a color number two. It has all this parting space, ear to ear, deep, 100% hand tied lace frontal. It is a five by five closure type. And it's from ear to ear, girl. Listen, I don't know, but I'm saying, do y'all see that picture right there? Like, do y'all see that? That that's looking promising. Like, you getting enough space, girl. You could you could part all the way from the rooter to the tuta, baby. Okay. So I'm just saying, and the, the curls look really really nice. And I'm trying to see, does it say anything about it being like a natural, realistic fiber? It just says it's 100% hand tied. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. And of course, you can always put heat to it. But the color number two is looking really really good. Okay. I'm gonna say that first. I'm, let me just say that because a lot of times when you get like the synthetic wig. Wigs, the colors are a little bit off versus the um the natural color like the human hair color they even got a youtube channel visit us at maydi beauty mayday mayday i don't know maybe mayday beauty i don't know but um they uh, they have an instagram they have a facebook they have a youtube so we're gonna have to check that out okay because i really want to see what they got going on you know the units that you could just pick to choose the color of the lace i can't remember if this is one of those but i'll, I'll definitely link everything down below for sam's beauty you know sam's beauty be getting y'all right so don't even front act like y'all don't know sam's beauty be getting y'all right y'all get good sales, good prices. And look, the wigs today look a whole lot hella better than from the wigs when I first started. Like when I first started doing YouTube, it was like 15, 16 years, 16 years ago. And of course the lace fronts was out, but they, they still look synthetic, of course, but they look a lot better. Okay. So you know how now you can choose the lace on some brands. I'm not saying all brands, girl. So I just figured, you know what? It's the first time for everything. We're going to try this wig out. We're going to see what it do, what it do, what it do. We're going to see what it do, especially since it's synthetic. And let's see here. Let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. So the first thing that I'm noticing is look at the cap here this is the cap so this is what i'm talking about this is promising look at this you got a little air tabby thing right here okay so i'm saying this wig might do what it do and i think with this particular lace you're definitely going to want to need to put some foundation pressed powder concealer one of the two you just really need to put it where your part is at and where it's kind of exposed. You know what I'm saying? So it got the, the norm, the elastic band, the adjustable straps. I'm telling you guys, this wig does look promising. So let's just get into this. Let's just get into this. We're going to see how promising this wig looks. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and tweeze this hairline just a little bit because it does look a little boxy or just, you know, thick around the edges. My suggestion, and y'all know I'm going to come through with a suggestion. If you have one of those mannequin heads, not one of the rubber ones or plastic ones, but the canvas block mannequin heads, I would highly suggest getting one. They're super affordable. Check Amazon. You can definitely pre-pluck and pre-tweeze a wig on one of those much easier than on yourself okay sometimes you may need to take it off and try it on and then keep plucking but i would highly suggest doing those things 
Um, now, because the wig is a lot of hair, you get a lot of hair in this unit. I'm going to just, you know, try to suit it to my liking. Now, that's the reason why I said you should pre-pluck it on a mannequin head because it's just a lot less work versus on your own head. And you can thin it out and give it the hairline shape that you want. But because I didn't do that, I'm going to just give myself a couple of baby hairs and wispy hairs. And that's what those two little twisted braids are. Now, because it's a synthetic wig, normally I don't adhere them down, but because this gave me so much lace, like it was plentiful of lace, I'm going to use my favorite Aussie Instant Freeze to spray it down, to adhere it. Now, here's the trick with any hairspray. I'm, I can't really say any hairspray, but with this one or with the got to be, you want to spray at least two to three layers on. And in between each layer, you want to allow that first layer to get tacky, then spray the next layer. And then once the second layer is tacky, then you can go ahead and spray the third layer. You could either allow that to get tacky or you can just spray it on like I did right here and then use your blow dryer. Now, the reason why I didn't allow the third layer to get tacky is because the first and second layer is already tacky, which means that the third layer is going to dry awful fast. I have noticed with the Aussie Instant Freeze, the more layers you spray, the quicker it dries. And this stuff dries super duper fast. So this is the reason why I use the Aussie Insta Freeze versus the Got To Be. I'm just not like a huge fan of the Got To Be Freeze Blast. I love Aussie Insta Freeze. If you go back to like years and years ago on my videos, you'll see that I've been using this on this particular channel for over 10 years, okay? So I definitely am like a Aussie Instant Freeze fan. Now they do have other um, holds for Aussie, but the Instant Freeze one in the purple can with the blue writing is the one that I suggest. You know, they do have the volume spray. That's not going to hold it down like this. This is good for hairstyles and adhering your wig. So, girl, yes, try it out. It's super cheap. It's way more cheaper than the Got To Be Freeze Blast. And like I said, I've been using this for over 10 years. Now, I also use the Mark Anthony Styling Foam. I used to use this other brand by the Dollar Tree uh, Salon Selectors. But this, this brand right here by Mark Anthony works a whole lot better. It's thicker and it definitely will hold your flyaways or your baby hair down now this is just an elastic band that i purchased from shein and it came with those two little puff things on on them so that way your ears can be protected if you're wearing it at night girl listen you can if you have some of those makeup puffs you know the kind like you get with your pressed powder just slip them on your already had elastic band now this is what i'm talking about with this unit look at all that parting you get you don't really see a lot of synthetic units that are like a five by five closure. And I think this is really decent for the brand. The hair color came out perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my blow dryer here, my hair dryer, and I'm gonna put it on the hottest temperature, which is hella hot, okay? Cause that's what I'm calling it. And you see it, it kind of lit up in red. Girl, this thing gets hella hot. And I like to use this versus using a hot comb on my synthetic wigs because I'm not putting a direct metal instrument on the hair. I feel like when you put direct, direct heat, like from a hot comb or a flat iron on synthetic hair, it just strips the longevity of it. And this blow dryer gets nice and hot and you see how it's smoothed down the parting. So, and it's also smoothing down the curls. So if you have a good blow dryer, use your blow dryer, you know what I'm saying? To smooth down the hair. You look at that. You can easily do it without putting direct heat. I'm not really cool with the direct heat on synthetic wigs. If you ever notice, it just kind of like, yeah, it'll get the job done, but the hair will be stripped of the longevity. And, and that's just in my opinion. I, I, you know, look, girl, I've been doing this for a minute, so I know. Now, just to make my scalp look a little bit more natural, of course, I'm going to use some concealer and I'm just going to use an angled brush. I love a good angled brush. And look, I'm using that same Aussie Instant Freeze. You see how nice it smooths it down. It's, this is definitely a winner winner chicken dinner hairspray like I'm, I'm being straight up with you guys now the wig itself gives you a lot of hair it fits snug it gives nice parting space okay you just gotta work around the hairline you know do what you need to do but I decided I was gonna put it up on the side just to get some of that hair out of my face because it was a lot of hair it was a lot of hair and girl I can't see it as it is and also I get very hot at times wearing wigs so i just try to keep myself comfortable at all costs but there are a lot of different styles you can do with this unit as you can see you can do it in pull-ups girl just thin it out before you wear it on a nice good canvas block mannequin head and you're good to go 
Look at that flip over, baby. Do it like it's your B-Day. Ow. And check out Sans Beauty for everything that you need. Listen, let me tell you about this wig, okay? X02 is the style number of this unit. And the color I have is in number, number two. It's hard to find an exact color number when it comes to synthetic wigs. So this two is definitely what's up. It's hitting. You get a lot of hair. You get a lot of parting space, baby. You get plentiful hair. One thing I will suggest prior to wearing this unit is I would thin the hairline, okay? That's, that's what I would do. You don't have to, but this is what I would do if you want it to look as natural as possible. So I would definitely tweeze the hairline a little bit and give it some type of baby hair or wispy hair just to frame the face because you don't want like very blunt edges so that's what I tried to do with the unit like I said it's a lot of hair they give you definitely a lot of parting space and as you see I just took it on both sides and kind of like pinned it up just so I can hold it back and get it off my face and the cool thing about the hair is it's not so shiny synthetic like you know what I'm saying like you know how you get some synthetic hairs and they're just basically very shiny they look more synthetic than some do this looks like a little bit more natural on a natural side and for those of you who really take like the heat to your um, um, your synthetic wigs like what I'm saying is heat like when you take a hot comb or a flat iron to your synthetic wigs I don't really do that because it just strips the longevity of the synthetic wig that's in my opinion so even though synthetic wigs can be curled with heat and so forth you got to really be careful because it will take and strip the longevity of the synthetic wig it will kind of make it seem like it'll tangle more especially when you put like direct heat on it like you see I used the blow dryer to tame the hairline and the part and press it down but you see it did tame the hair down so if you have a good blow dryer with a nozzle or even if you don't have a nozzle I just like them when they have the nozzle because it controls the air path but if you don't have a nozzle that's okay use a comb like a fine tooth comb just to press the hair down while you're blow drying it that always works with a good synthetic wig especially if it's a good blow dryer kind of like tame the curls out of this and kind of like not strip the curls but kind of loosen them because I wanted them a little bit looser they didn't seem to match all over so I tried to loosen it out you can definitely part this wherever you want I just went ahead and parted it like so just to show you guys that you know there's a lot that you can do with this unit but as long as you got yourself like a nice wide tooth brush or comb girl carry it along with you because it's going to tangle every wig tangles some people think because it's a human hair wig that it's not going to tangle that's a lie it doesn't matter if you spend thousands of dollars on that wig it's going to tangle only because it's not growing out of your scalp okay it's on your neck and it is moving against you and the clothing so any wig is going to tangle human hair or synthetic they're all going to tangle Okay. But I will leave all of the information below for Mayday. I think it's Mayday, Mayday Beauty, Mayday Beauty. It might be Mayday Beauty. I don't know. You guys let me know. Check out samsbeauty.com. They got all the fire lace from wigs from synthetic to human hair, girl. Okay. So on that note, I love you all. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, boo. And I will see y'all in the next one.